So we are bound for Asbury University and the revival that at this point has been going for over 121 hours. And so we feel pressed to pray in every state we drive through. So here we are in New York. Love, you wanna lead us off? Yes. So we are uh, asking you, Lord, to forgive here in New York City for the uh, sin of the city to um, forgive those who are rebellious, to forgive the sexual immorality, the greed, the pain, the abortion, the murder. And uh, we just ask you to cover it by the blood of Jesus. We pray, Father, that if judgment comes, it would be at your hand and not at the hand of man, that there would be nothing nuclear about it, that there would be nothing uh, that, that your people would not be harmed, Lord God, and that no one would lose their life who is destined for your house. And we pray, in fact, for a great harvest, Lord. Amen. Revival among the believers and harvest for those who are, uh, who will hear the message and receive. So we, re we pray for revival and harvest in New York City. And we ask you to do this in Jesus' name. Amen. And we're about to pass AMC Empire Theater where Jesus Revolution is gonna be opening on uh, February 20. I believe they have screenings there starting the 22nd of February. So Lord, we just pray, Father, that you would use this film, stir up what you're doing in Asbury around the nation. And here in New York City, Father, we pray that many would flock to Jesus Revolution. We do pray, Father, for revival to break out right in the theaters. Father, for prayer and worship to just spring forth after these are done, for, for salvations, Father, for you to flow. And even as we're driving through the Broadway box of Manhattan, we pray for the Broadway theaters to switch their tune and to bring in plays that glorify God. And we pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we do pray for repentance, Lord. We know that no revival is complete without repentance of sin. And so we ask you, Lord God, that this would not be a revival of emotion or feelings, Lord God, solely, but the power yes. and the conviction. Uh, so we pray Holy Spirit would be alive and active and bring many into the kingdom uh, and the bride of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we want to pray for our state prayer leader, Mary Masood, who is doing such a fabulous job with our group. And Father, we just lift up Mary, pray that you would continue to put an anointing on her. We thank you, Father, for the insights that she brings, for the leadership skills that she brings. And Father, we just pray that you would continue to ignite our New York prayer team, especially as we're gathering new people every week. We thank you, Father, for the growth, and we pray, Father, that our, our prayers would go up in a chorus to you and bring revival to New York State. Here we are in New Jersey, and uh, before we pray for the state, I wanted to share a dream I had in 2016. And it was, I was a, cat, a cartoon character from Candyland, and I was going on all these adventures, and um, there were a number of things that happened in the dream, but one of the things that happened was that I got an, an instruction to go to Asbury Park, which turn, is here in New Jersey on the Jersey uh, coastline, the Jersey Shore, we call it, and uh, I was instructed to go there to repent. And so I went there and I was repenting in the dream and Rich showed up and he asked if he could get was me. Was I a cartoon too? I don't remember yes, anymore, and right. I didn't make Did note of it. In J495 <laughs> West towards New Jersey Turnpike. I'm letting uh, our instruction, our driving instruction complete there. But yeah, I don't remember if he was cartoon, but um, I certainly was. And uh, I ended up asking him for a cup of water, and so he brought it to me. There was um, a pastor from our church, a mentor of mine, who showed up in the dream. And in the dream, she put her arm around me and said uh, I, that there was much ahead for, for me. So when Rich brought me this water in the Stay dream, in the I had this surge of joy. It was supernatural joy. It's a joy gift that sometimes happens and that, uh, you know, I just can feel the Lord's joy. Um, and so that happened in the dream. I woke up. There was a man I had met in the dream. I thought it was John Wesley, frankly. But when I, I uh, because of the Asbury Park uh, instruction, I looked up both Wesley, and it didn't look like it was Wesley, but when I looked up Asbury Park and Francis Asbury, the person was, it turned out, 
was Francis Asbury. And so now we're on our way to uh, Asbury College in Kentucky, where they have been in revival um, in a beautiful follow-up to the uh, drive uh, to the um, revival in 1970. And so we are going to pray here as we pass through the toll on the New Jersey Turnpike. We know that New Jersey is like New York, hard uh, soil in many places, but soft in many others. And so we just pray, Father, that in your um, providence, you would bring revival here, that you would bring repentance to the church, to anyone in the church who is walking you know, falsely or in sin or in compromise, and that you would also bring a revival on the heels of that repentance. And from that repentance, Lord God, we pray, and that revival in the church, we pray you would send your servants to the harvest fields, that uh, for you say the harvest is ripe, and we believe that very truly, that is true here in New Jersey. And so we ask you that you would send your prepared workers to um, bring in the harvest, Lord. We pray also for the Jesus film, uh, the Jesus Revolution, actually, which is the film about the Jesus movement, um, centering on the story of Greg Laurie, pastor in, um, in California, and of course, Chuck Smith and Lonnie Frisbee, Jonathan Rumi, who plays him in the movie. But we pray, Father, that this film would do great here in New Jersey. It would draw the many. We know there are many churches here who were influenced um, and founded by people who came to Christ because of the Jesus uh, movement in the 70s and in the late 60s. And so we invite you, Father, to show your glory here, to add to your, your son's bride, and to bring forth uh, reformation following on the heels of revival and reaping. Um, and harvest and we ask you to do these things in Jesus name. Amen. So a little while back I wrote a couple of articles on Edward Durer who was running for state senate here in New Jersey and he beat out Stephen Sweeney who was the president of the New Jersey Senate and Sweeney found some missing ballots and I wrote an article and our intercessors got to praying and all of a sudden those missing ballots came to nothing and Edward Durer won the seat. He said that he wanted to bring the heartbeat bill to New Jersey. So Lord, that's my prayer is that he would spearhead that, that the way would open, that the heartbeat bill would come to New Jersey and become heartbeat law. Save lives in the Garden State, Lord, we pray in Jesus name. Another thing is coming to my mind that happened here in New Jersey was um, on Dutch Sheets, Give Him 15, they talked about burying a hatchet. And it's kind of hard for us to bury a hatchet in New York City. So we were on the New Jersey shore. We might have been at Asbury Park. I, I think yeah, we might have been. it was actually not Give Him 15. It was... Um, oh, oh, it, it was, was Clay Nash. Clay Nash. Clay Nash. But I think... It, did it, it was uh, on the 222 calls. 222 calls. They were calling us to, to get a, a hatchet. Calls, yeah get a hatchet, bury the hatchet, pray over that. So um, <laughs> we were on the Jersey Shore and got a, a half a clamshell and called it a, a hatchet and buried it there and prayed. So Lord, we pray once again, Lord God, that the hatchets would be buried, that peace would come to our land, especially here in New Jersey. And we pray, Father, for revival to break out here that no one can stop in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Pray for IFA uh, State Prayer Directors Donna and Deborah, and we just want to pray all your uh, robust anointing on them, Lord, that you would always give them the strategy and the way to build the prayer network so that your will is accomplished in this state. We ask you to just bless them in every way, give them the skills of, of Deborah the Judge in the Old Testament, and uh, just enable, Lord God, the prayers to soar into the heavens and accomplish your will on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. We are now in Pennsylvania, and the state prayer leaders are Bill and Betsy West, who were with us on Headline Prayer Live before it was Headline Prayer Live, back when it started as Pray With Others Live, and originally even on a phone line before we had the webcast. So, Lord, we lift up Bill and Betsy. We pray, Father, that you would anoint them 
flow through them in this state. Use their leadership and their insights, Father, to do a mighty work in this Keystone State. We pray for Senator Federer, who is having troubles communicating, Lord. We just pray he would turn to you. We pray for his salvation and sanctification. We pray that revival would spread like wildfire throughout this state, where the Liberty Bell rang, let freedom ring, Lord, we pray. And we pray, Father, we're going to start praying for the uh, the Let Us Worship events that are going to be happening in all 50 capitals. We pray, Father, that many would come from the north, the south, the east, and the west to, uh, to spark revival here, Father, through their worship, Lord. May revival break out, Lord God, all over this great state. And, Father, we just found out that there is a, uh, a quote-unquote revivalist coming to Asbury University who kicked somebody in the face to heal them of cancer and all sorts of uh, allegations. He's been denounced by six credible leaders. Uh, Father, we pray he would not take the stage. We, we thank you for the report that people aren't just able to take the stage, that um, that, that is being shepherded by the right people here at the campus there at the campus uh, soon to be here and we pray father that as he walks in that you would just heal him of this sexual um, I think addictions that he might have father um, whatever's going on there we just pray for your healing Lord God when he walks in the door that he might have a restored ministry that you might use him for your kingdom's glory and that nothing would uh, be allowed to stay in him that would uh, take the kingdom in a wrong direction, Father, that would take individuals in a wrong direction. And we thank you, Father, for the vision we heard of Dutch Sheets when he was preaching right after 9-11 in Boise, Idaho, I think. He saw while he was speaking a hand on the back wall and then a vision just kind of broke forth of revivals on college campuses. And so, yes, Lord, yes, we pray it would go far and wide. If this is the answer to that vision, if this is coming to pass, we pray, Father, that it would go state to state, that it wouldn't just reside in Asbury. We've already found out that it's it's popped over to the seminary chapel as well because the, the main auditorium is just too packed. So, Father, we pray that that would spread state to state as well that people would just meet and not be able to leave your presence. We just pray, Father, for a holy shaking of our nation, that many would turn back to you in this hour, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're now in Maryland, and we notice that the prayer leader is Karen Hatfield. I don't know if she's related to the great Mark Hatfield, who was a senator in Oregon when I was growing up, but he was a kingdom-minded politician, if ever there was one. And may I say, uh, Senator Hatfield was instrumental in the first prayer in getting the National Day of Prayer recognized. Um, he, was he was connected with Derek Prince and John Beckett and those who were involved with the founding of IFA. There you go. Which is Intercessors for America. And so, Lord, I just want to pray for more uh, people to rise up that are kingdom-minded into politics, Father. And I pray that people will stop telling people <laughs> that you can't be a Christian and involved in politics. Because if we're not involved, we are running away from God faster than anything. So, Lord Jesus, I just pray you would raise up people to take the mountain of politics in America. And now West Virginia. We just drove into West Virginia. We'll have to look up who their prayer leader is, but I'm just going to keep praying for West Virginia, Father. I had a performance here and stayed with somebody from Liberia. They have a connection to, um, to Liberty, and here we are in Black History Month. And in my play, I Dreamed I Was Free, which tells the story of Quaker abolitionist John Woolman, who spoke against slavery a hundred years before the Civil War in America. 
and I included a line in the Liberian language. Na ilwadli kama, which means, um, Papa, I love you, if memory serves. We pray, Father, for liberty. We pray for liberty far and wide. We pray, Father, that um, people in the African-American community would come to you in droves, that those who know you would rise up and operate in your spirit, and those that don't would be drawn in. And we just pray, Father, for a mighty revival in the African-American community, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So we looked up the state prayer leader, Donna Rollison, and Father, we just want to lift her up. We praise you, Father. We think she might have been at the um, policy and prayer event in Washington, D.C. last fall. And so we pray you would stir up everything that you taught her there, get her excited, to get her group excited, to pray for this great state. The state motto is mountain men will be free. Is that right, Joyce? Mountaineers, are, Mountaineers always free. are always free. And there we're praying for liberty. And and I had this connection to Liberia here in West Virginia. So we pray, Father, for liberty to reign across this great state. We pray for the Sean Foyt event at the Capitol, the Let Us Worship event here, that it would be robust, that many would come from the north, the south, the east, and the west, and proclaim freedom across this land in Jesus' name. Amen. Kentucky! We made it to Kentucky. We didn't drive all night. We, we took a stop. Um, we, we were tempted to drive all the way to the, uh, the auditorium and just walk in. But we've got our webcast this morning. I hope you all can join us either live or later on. Um, you can find all the details at ifapray.org forward slash watch. So Lord, we just pray for the rest of our trip the last two hours here. We pray, Father, that you would uh, keep us safe on the road, that we would neither harm nor be harmed. And we just pray, Father, for this revival that was already brewing before the Asbury revival went long. There was a church about two hours away. Something. Something. <laughs> An hour or two hours away from Asbury that was going and going like this as well, right in their church sanctuary. And so there's just a spirit of revival in this state already. And Lord, we just pray into that, that that would grow. And Father, that, that it would just spread like wildfire throughout the state and then beyond. Father, we're hearing reports of other colleges where their, their prayer meetings are going long, eight hours long and more. So Father, just do a, a mighty, mighty work in this land. We need revival here today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So most mornings, I have been calling in to the Asbury University switchboard to see, is the revival still going? And now, after 144 hours of straight revival, I can just walk in the door.
I've been praying for that since 1987. I wish I could just stay in there. We got to get ready for today's broadcast at 1215. Hope you can join us. ifapray.org forward slash watch.